The Amica Android by Engineered Arts is one of the most advanced robots in the world today. It recently starred in a video where it sees itself in a mirror for the first time. At first, the Android seemed surprised, but then it starts showing emotions. Among the robot's reactions, you can see it looking strangely at its face, trying to move its lips, smiling, blinking, and even pretending to get angry. If this isn't all pre-programmed imitation, we're just amazed. Engineers at Alibaba have created an innovative neural network called Animate Anyone that brings still images to life with incredible accuracy and realism. How does it work? The network examines a still image and identifies key facial features like eyes, nose and mouth. Then it uses this information to generate realistic movements, including blinking, smiling and speech, when performing user-defined actions. The neural network employs a complex algorithm involving deep learning and computer vision methods, enabling it to precisely predict movements. According to the developers, creating computer animation will no longer require special skills, making it a more widespread tool in the entertainment industry. The concept of zero-emission transportation is gaining popularity, and it's not just about battery-powered motorcycles. Designers Anton Brusso, Andre Telefort, and Anton Gusov have come up with an interesting concept of a power cruiser that runs on hydrogen. This motorcycle, named Hydra, features special fuel cells that generate electrical energy to power the hydrogen-driven electric motor. This solution offers emission-free transport and the convenience of quick refueling. Simply replacing an empty fuel cell with a new one allows you to continue riding. In terms of looks, the concept is as unique as its power system. Its autonomous rear-wheel suspension, shortened straight handlebars and protective carbon fiber body casings make Hydra a true motorcycle from the future. While the hydrogen bike is currently just a concept, the Japanese motorcycle industry astonishes with a real innovation. The Honda Riding Assist E is an innovative motorcycle with an automatic balance system that keeps it upright, even without a stand while parked. This is possible due to a small gyroscope that constantly monitors its position in space and automatically moves the front wheel left and right to prevent the bike from tipping over. Additionally, the bike has a built-in autonomous driving system and can even reverse, making it easy to maneuver out of confined spaces in a garage or parking lot. Amazon has introduced an innovative device that identifies customers by scanning their palm. According to the developers, palm recognition is considered more private than other biometric alternatives because an image of the hand can't reveal a person's identity. The device has a wide range of uses. It can be used to make payments, access self-storage stores, offices or stadiums without needing plastic cards or smartphones. Here's how it works. The system links a card to a unique image of the owner's palm. Then the person can perform various operations using just one universal pass that can't be lost. The device is currently being tested in two cashierless Amazon Go stores operating in Seattle. And now, there's a groundbreaking device in the world of 3D printing, an underwater 3D printer from CPS drone that can operate fully submerged in water. The main advantage of this method is the absence of the need for powerful fans required to cool the device on the surface. This in turn reduces the device's vibrations during operation, leading to improved print quality. The unique printer has been specially adapted to function underwater. Engineers enhanced it by using water-repellent epoxy resins and replacing corrosion-sensitive metal components with plastics. The main electronic elements were left on the surface to prevent the possibility of a short circuit. The British brand MG introduced the Cyberster, an electric roadster in a minimalistic design without rough lines or sharp angles. The interior stands out with separate seats for the driver and passenger divided by a high central tunnel. 
The focus is also on the tech interior, with three screens placed in a unified rounded layout and a unique steering wheel without the upper part of the rim. This steering wheel comes with multiple buttons, allowing interaction with multimedia while driving almost distraction-free. There are two power options, one with a single electric motor delivering 314 horsepower and another with dual motors producing 544 horsepower. These specs promise acceleration from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 3.2 seconds. The electric car's maximum range on a full charge is stated to be 360 miles in the top configuration. Now, virtual reality can be felt down to the millimeter, all thanks to the innovative Hapt X Gloves G1, each fitted with 135 actuators. Along with the gloves, the setup includes a special backpack with compressed air. Here's how it works. When you touch something in the virtual world, the actuators apply pressure to your skin using compressed air from the backpack. This helps the user feel the size, shape and texture of the virtual object. The whole setup weighs nearly 20 pounds and can operate continuously for three hours. After that, the backpack needs to be connected to a power and air supply for recharging. The world's largest plane, Strato Launch's ROC, recently took the fueled hypersonic vehicle TA-1 into the air for the first time. The test aimed to study how the vehicle behaves in the air, assessing its engine system and performance. The flight lasted for 3 hours and 22 minutes at an altitude of about 4 miles. During the flight, the engine of the TA-1 was never ignited. According to company representatives, the test results indicated that the system operates as intended. After a thorough analysis of the flight data, engineers will prepare the vehicle for its first airborne engine ignition. German car manufacturer BMW has teamed up with battery developer Our Next Energy One to double the range of its electric cars. The startup from Michigan fitted its battery pack into a test version of the BMW iX electric crossover, boosting its range from 323 miles to 608 miles. And these numbers are not just theoretical, they've been confirmed by test trials. The secret behind one's success lies in special dual batteries made of different chemical compositions but working together as a unified whole. The company claims their power units are not only more efficient but also more environmentally friendly than popular lithium-based batteries. While BMW is extending its electric car range, its direct rivals in the electric car market are competing in drag racing. Recently, the folks at Haggerty organized epic races between the Tesla Cybertruck, Rivian R1T and Hummer EV. The race was held over a standard quarter-mile distance and the results were as follow. Tesla Cybertruck 11 seconds, Rivian R1T 11.7 seconds, Hummer EV 11.9 seconds. In terms of technical specs, power and torque, the electric cars feature 845 horsepower and 10,296 newton meters of torque, 835 horsepower and 908 newton meters of torque, and 1,000 horsepower and 11,500 newton meters of torque, respectively. In China, they've come up with an unusual and supposedly effective way to keep drivers alert at night. They organize a laser show above the road. Projectors are set up along the roads in Shandong province and they shine up to two kilometers ahead, aiming to help combat sleepiness from the monotony of the road. And to make driving easier both day and night, a Chinese company called Nebufly developed a special fogging system. It's integrated into the road surface and sprays fine water droplets to trap dust particles, preventing them from getting into the air and ensuring cleaner and safer roads. Airwolf is the latest development in manned aircraft with vertical takeoff capability. It's like a two-seater motorcycle with four-channel fans. Each turbine can rotate independently, providing increased maneuverability. This flying motorcycle can make sharp turns in the air with a minimal radius. The control is so precise that vertical takeoff is possible even inside a hangar. 
there's no need to roll out Airwolf onto the streets first. The absence of wings and the vertical positioning of the fans reduce the battery charge consumption during takeoff. The angled windshield improves aerodynamics while moving horizontally. Meta has introduced a new platform called Seamless M4T that listens to spoken words and turns them into text. The system understands 100 languages and translates to 35 different languages. What's unique about the program is its ability to comprehend multiple languages at once, like when you're speaking English and your friends are using German and French. Moreover, the software is set to recognize toxic or negative words, even if they weren't intended in the original language. Seamless M4T can also detect gender biases. There's a free trial version available where you can dictate words for up to 15 seconds and listen to the translation. The collaboration between Leia and Neo has led to a smart scooter that responds to voice commands. You can say, for instance, navigate home and the artificial intelligence will find the best route without traffic jams. The scooter folds up for easy loading into a car trunk or taking on public transport. It runs on a modular battery that's easy to swap out when needed. It syncs via Bluetooth with smartwatches or smartphones and accelerates up to 11 miles per hour. Featuring a digital screen displaying battery level and speed, it comes with a stylish backpack box that attaches to the scooter's vertical stand. The scooter's acceleration and braking respond to the rider's forward and backward tilts, thanks to an intelligent system. Mercedes' recent offering, the Sprinter VIP King Van, is an ultra-comfortable minibus fitted with nine cozy seats featuring heating and ventilation. It boasts a large multimedia screen with Apple TV and PlayStation. On the outside, the VIP van stands out with a sporty bumper and an exclusive radiator grille. Inside, the steering wheel and dashboard are adorned with brown leather, offering a pleasant touch. The four seats in the cabin have extendable leg rests, ensuring comfort during long trips without tiredness or swollen legs. There's a foldable table that moves along tracks, sliding closer to the front or back rows. A side touch panel controls the cabin lighting colors and climate, freeing the driver from commands. This remote allows for the creation of a cozy atmosphere for relaxation on long journeys, impressing users. Priced at $230,000 to $270,000, the van surpasses even the Mercedes Maybach S580. Two young developers have come up with a way to quit vaping using the Capnos Zero device. It looks a lot like a vape, but when you inhale, only clean flavored air goes into your lungs. The innovation is based on the idea that not all vapors are addicted to nicotine. Some are just used to the tactile sensations of having a vape in their hands and mouths and inhaling scents. Capnos Zero offers an alternative, keeping all the tactile sensations intact. Instead of smoke, you breathe in air, while the scent comes from a specially infused cartridge. The device is self-contained and doesn't need charging. Replaceable mouthpieces allow for changing scents, including options like orange, lavender and menthol. Naval Energy's subsidiary has designed the Open Hydro EMEC turbine that turns the energy from ocean tides into electricity, which is then stored in batteries and supplied to consumers. This innovation is more efficient compared to harnessing wind energy. The structure consists of two large columns anchored to the seabed. A big turbine wheel is lowered into the water on these shafts, held in place by hydraulic winches. The turbine houses 16 blades that are turned by the ocean's currents. Its design is open, allowing marine creatures to pass through it freely. The tests were conducted near the UK. They aim to produce 25 turbines annually. By 2050, all open hydro turbines were expected to reach 100 gigawatts of productivity, covering 10% of the European Union's electricity needs. However, the company soon declared bankruptcy for its subsidiary, leading to the halt of all further testing. Korean scientists unveiled the new Lunarctic hubless wheeled bike, featuring no rear hub. 
Their innovative design reduced the bike's length, lowered the center of gravity, and improved stability. Pedal power is transformed through a belt drive to a gear, engaging the wheel's tooth transmission. The absence of the rear hub created an open space, making the design more intriguing. The belt doesn't require lubrication and avoids staining clothes. A smaller front wheel diameter enhances maneuverability in tight spaces. It's a very convenient city bike that easily fits into public transport without folding. In New Hampshire, successful tests were conducted on the new Rotor R550X helicopter, piloted remotely. Instead of four seats, all the interior space is dedicated to a cargo hold, allowing it to carry twice the load of similarly sized helicopters with pilots. This innovation is highly sought after in agriculture for transporting harvests, tools, and field spraying. Additionally, it's planned to be used in rescue operations and firefighting. The helicopter is controlled using a joystick and two large monitors, requiring minimal training. Communication with the machine is maintained via a ground relay, providing a flight range of 10 miles. When connected to a satellite via the onboard relay, the operational radius extends to 1,000 miles. If connection is lost, a program activates to return the helicopter to base. For people with limited abilities, the Project Leonardo panel was introduced, integrating with the PlayStation 5 and serving as an alternative to the standard gamepad. This allows more efficient and prolonged gaming for those facing difficulties handling the regular joystick or find it hard to reach buttons designed for larger and index fingers. The gaming controller has a round base with modular buttons arranged in a circular manner along with an analog joystick. Users can set buttons of different sizes, customize their functions, and adjust the distances of the analog joystick from the platform based on their arm length. The kit includes joysticks of various diameters and can be used while resting on a table or stand of a wheelchair without needing to hold it. The new electric boat, Candela C8, set a world record by covering 420 nautical miles in 24 hours. The previous record for an electric vessel was 79 nautical miles in 20 hours. Throughout this time, the boat was charged for 313 minutes using the North Volt Volt Pack, a mobile direct current station with a capacity of 281 kilowatt hours. The enhanced range and increased speed of the Swedish-made boat were made possible by its underwater wings. These wings lift the boat at speeds above 16 knots, significantly reducing water resistance. A digital system ensures stability even in strong winds and high waves. Gustav Hasselskog, the company's CEO, piloted the boat during the world record attempt. With these features, the Candela C8 has become the best-selling electric boat in Europe. To stay updated on other useful inventions, subscribe to our channel. That way you'll be the first to learn about global innovations and interesting facts.